Hi, it's Jesse at Bold Grid, and I'm here today to answer a question from one of our users, Joe. Um, Joe is working on setting up his galleries, and on the full-size display, um, he's got it kind of in a checker pattern. Um, and what he's looking to do is um, basically swap the order in which two columns show up when the screen is on the mobile size. Um, so great question, Joe. I'm going to walk you through it. Um, here I've recreated the page that you mentioned. Um, so you can see we've got this uh, description on the left, image on the right, image on the left, description on the right. And um, what basically what happens is when you go into mobile view, you end up with these two images in a row. And what you're looking for is for this description to show up above the image. So here's how we're going to do that. So um, like you just saw, I grabbed the um, arrow icon and I moved it above and you'll see that in the regular view um, we end up with what what you're not after this uh, this kind of straight line design um, and we're going to use a little bit of custom CSS to swap these around so on your uh, first column here we want these to be swapped um, like they are now um, go to the advanced control and go to the custom CSS class and I'm going to drag that to where you can see it here. And so we're going to add a custom class to this one um, that is call col md push 6. And what that's going to do is on a large size screen, it's going to add six column widths to it. Um, so we got that. And now we need to do the same thing with the one over here now. So I'm going to go to the edit column, advanced control. CSS class, and I'm going to call this one col-md-pull6. And so on medium and large size screens, it's going to pull in six columns. So we're going to push one and pull the other. And now we end up with what you wanted. And if we swap over to the mobile view, we'll see that they're swapped around. Um, so that's how you do that. Um, just a one custom CSS class on each of those columns and you'll be able to swap them around. I'll have that code in the description of the video as well as in the answer to your forum question, Joe. So I hope that helps. Please let us know if you have any more questions.